Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to smoke lamb shoulder to make pulled lamb, which we're gonna use later on to make some little lamb euro sliders. Now we're gonna be using the Oklahoma Joe's offset today, but if you've got another barbecue, set it up for some indirect cooking, and then you can follow along to the temperature guides and cooking process in this video. All right, so to get started, we'll open up our firebox lid and get some fire lighters going. Then we'll get a full chimney worth of lump charcoal or briquettes on. We'll open up our side door on the firebox and we'll come back once all of these briquettes are nice and red hot, which should take about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, so while that's happening, we're gonna trim and season this lamb shoulder. All right, so we're gonna be working with a beautiful three and a half kilo lamb shoulder. This is the Roaring 40s brand from Austral Meat. Absolutely amazing quality. And we're gonna get started by taking a lot of this top white fat off. All right, so I'm happy with how that's looking. I do like to take a little bit of extra fat off when I'm working with lamb. So now we're gonna get this seasoned up. We're just gonna give it a base coat in yellow mustard. Now that's just gonna really help our rub stick to the meat. And now we're gonna give it a base coat of garlic gulls. And then we're gonna to top it off with a new lamb rub I've got coming out. Once this is available, I'll put a link down in the description. All right, our briquettes are almost ready. Our lamb is trimmed, seasoned, and ready to go. What I'm gonna do now is get a drip tray below our cooking grate just to catch any juices from that lamb. And then we should be ready to start building a fire in our firebox. All right, so we'll open the lid to our cooking chamber. Then I'll lift our cooking grate up and get our drip tray in there. While we're here, I'll make sure our chimney stack is wide open. And as you can see, our briquettes are ready. So I'll take that chimney out. I'll get our charcoal basket in there. And then I'll dump our briquettes in. And now I'm just gonna get one log split of iron bark on. I'll leave our doors open until that log catches light. And after about a minute, that log has caught light nicely. So we'll shut our firebox lid, the lid to our cooking chamber. And for now, we'll leave our side firebox door open just so we can start burning that log down to create a nice coal base. And one last thing you don't wanna forget is to preheat your next log on your firebox lid. Now we got our fire going with an iron bark split and you would have noticed the log I put on top of our firebox lid was a completely different color. That's because I'm gonna be using something we don't normally see too much of in South Australia, is beautiful pecan splits. Now I'm not gonna to waste too many of these. I didn't wanna use that when we're starting our fire because it's just gonna burn down to create a nice coal bed. But when I'm ready to put our first log on, that's gonna create some beautiful smoke. I'm gonna start using our pecan splits. I'm not gonna use these later on once our lamb shoulder's wrapped because it's pointless as no more smoke is gonna penetrate into the meat. So if you are in South Australia and you wanna get hold of some pecan splits, get hold of natural smoke. There's not heaps of them left, but I'll put a link down in the video description if you are interested. Now the type of wood available to you is gonna vary all around the world, all around each state in Australia. So make sure you do some research and find a wood split that's suitable for you. You obviously wanna make sure it's been seasoned properly and it's suitable for offset smoking. So wherever you get your wood from, make sure you have that conversation with them because you don't wanna be using the wrong type of wood. But for now, we're gonna let that first log we put on burn down to create a nice coal base for us to work with then we'll come back to keep managing this fire and get this lamb shoulder on. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. That log and our temperatures have settled. So we can go ahead, open up our firebox lid. We'll get this pecan split on. And after about 10 to 15 seconds, you can see that has caught light nicely. So we'll shut our lid. We'll put our next log split on top of our firebox. Our side firebox door, we're just gonna leave a crack open just like so. Then we'll open the lid to our cooking chamber and we'll get this beautiful lamb shoulder on. All right, so now our lamb shoulder's on, we're gonna to look to run this barbecue at around that 275 to 300 Fahrenheit or 135 to 150 Celsius range. And with offset smokers, especially down the firebox end, don't be going off what your lid temperature gauges are saying. It's gonna be completely different as opposed to what's actually happening at cooking grate level. So if you've got a grill probe, hook one up until you really understand what that difference is between lid and cooking grate level. But for now, we're gonna let this lamb shoulder go for a few hours. We're gonna manage our fire. If you wanna delve a bit deeper into offset smoker fire management, I'll put a link down in the description for you to check out. But for now, we'll let this lamb shoulder go and we'll come back once we're a bit further into this cook. All right, we're around four hours into this cook. Let's have a look at our lamb shoulder. All right, so I've been checking on this about every hour. I've been giving it a spritz with some apple cider vinegar just to keep some moisture in there. We'll have a quick check of our internal temperature. It's at about that 160 Fahrenheit or 70-ish degrees Celsius. That bark on the outside is looking amazing. I reckon we'll give it another half an hour and then we'll wrap it up. 
All right, so before we wrap our lamb shoulder up, while we've still got a bit of time, we're gonna make a homemade tzatziki that's gonna go with our little lamb sliders later on. All right, so to start, we're gonna use about a cup of Greek yogurt. And we've got about a quarter cup of grated cucumber here. Now this has been freshly grated and what we want to do now is just squeeze the juice out of it. Now that can go in. Then we've got three cloves of crushed garlic, pinch of mint, the juice of half a lemon and a pinch of salt. Now we'll give that a good mix. Then you can have a taste and adjust it to your liking. All right, so it's been about half an hour since we last checked on the lamb. So we'll get this out and wrap it up. So we've got two layers of foil there. We'll just pop our lamb shoulder on that and wrap it up nice and tight. Now we'll get it back in the smoker. We'll get a meat probe in there. We'll shut our lid and let that smoke away. All right, so that lamb shoulder is gonna be going back into our smoker and we're not gonna check on it until it reaches an internal of around that 205 Fahrenheit or 96 degrees Celsius mark. I reckon it'll take at least another two hours to get there. I don't like putting a time on these things. And I'm also gonna switch back to using our iron bark splits now because that pecan is not gonna have an influence on that protein anymore. There's no point wasting those splits if they're not gonna have a benefit. And you also probably noticed I didn't add anything in with that foil wrap. That lamb is such good quality. There's plenty of interest muscular fat in there. I'm not worried about that drying out, but if you were using cheap supermarket lamb, you might want to consider adding some beef stock or some beef fat into there. But usually in general, there's plenty of fat in a lamb shoulder, so I don't normally worry about it. And one more thing, when you get to this stage, once you've wrapped whatever you're smoking in foil, you can always finish it off in the oven instead of using an offset smoker. Offsets are probably the most challenging to use. If I was using something like a drum smoker, I would just keep it in there because they are so steady and efficient. But like I said, there's no harm transferring it into the oven if you didn't want to continue maintaining a fire in your offset smoker. So for now, we'll just continue to let this lamb shoulder cook away and we'll check back in once we're almost done with this cook. All right, our lamb shoulder's been wrapped up for just over two and a half hours now. We've hit that 205 Fahrenheit or 96 degrees Celsius internal mark. Let's open it up, have a probe around and see if it's ready. All right, so as you can see in there, we've got some amazing drawback on them bones. I can already feel how soft that is. It's got a nice wobble to it. That's just probing like butter. All right, I'm happy to get that out. So I'm just gonna grab another foil tray. We'll sit our lamb shoulder in that and we'll bring it over to our cutting bench. All right, so now our lamb shoulder's out, I'm just gonna let it sit there unwrapped for a couple of minutes just to stop that cooking process. Now, you might not think that's overly important when you're doing pulled meat, but personally, I don't like my pulled meat to go too much towards that mushy sort of state, which is what would potentially happen if we were to just wrap it back up straight away and let it rest. It would continue cooking and potentially turn mushy. So once a couple of minutes have passed, I'm gonna wrap this back up. I'll let it rest at room temperature for an hour before I'm ready to serve it. Now, if I didn't wanna serve this for four to six hours, I'd wrap it back up in the foil and then I'd put it in an esky with an old tower, which is gonna act as extra insulation and that's gonna stay hot for four to six hours. So that's up to you, depending on when your lamb shoulder's ready and when you wanna serve it. But for now, I'm gonna wrap this back up in a minute. I'm gonna rest it and we'll come back to put these little sliders together. All right, this lamb's had a nice little rest. Time to pull it apart. All right, now we can have a quick taste before we put these little sliders together. That is so good. All right, now we'll put these beautiful little sliders together. So we'll start with a base of lettuce, some tomato, then some of this beautiful pulled lamb. Then we've got some brown onion. We've got our beautiful tzatziki on the underside of the top bun, and these are good to go. All right, now it's time for a taste. That is so good, such a good combination. A great option if you wanna smoke a lamb shoulder and you're not sure how to serve it. And like I said earlier, if you don't have an offset smoker, just use the temperature guides and the cooking references in this video to follow along in the smoker that you have. And if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. But for now, that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.